From the past few weeks, a lot of students have messaged me asking me about the top AI tools that they can use for their learning and their education. And very recently, I did a video on ChatGPT, different prompts that how you can use ChatGPT to learn anything faster. But in this video, since on a popular demand, I want to bring the top 10 absolutely amazing AI tools that every student should use. Now, I've done a lot of research and handpicked these AI tools for every student. And I'm sure you're going to love this. And especially the last two are my absolute favorites. Okay, let me just talk about this. The number one is, of course, ChatGPT. Now, we've talked about this a lot. ChatGPT can really be amazing for the education journey. And in fact, for everyone. But again, as I've told you, I've done the whole video talking about ChatGPT and how these prompts can help you learn anything faster. So you can watch that video and understand ChatGPT. So that was my number one. The number two that I have is this, Grammarly. This is an amazing tool actually. Now basically, this is for writing and it's great writing as it says, simplified. Now the best thing that you do is, if you can see here also, you can actually change it. Anything that you write, if you have Grammarly, Grammarly can help you write way better. It is not just with the grammar. So it starts with grammar first. So you can actually write anything and Grammarly will help you correct the grammar. As you can see it here, it is actually helping you with the grammar. Now Grammarly predominantly was this, right? To help you with the grammar. So how students can use this tool. So anytime you have to write anything, be it any project work or anything, you can use Grammarly, you can use copy paste that text, put it in Grammarly and Grammarly will give you all the details about grammar and will help you fix that grammar errors. That's number one. And the best thing about the Grammarly is actually it works everywhere. Yes, that's what I loved about Grammarly. I use Grammarly a lot. And if you have Grammarly, you can, you can actually use the Chrome extension and then you can actually have Grammarly in everywhere. Even in Google Docs, something that I use is on Google Docs. So anytime I'm typing, I switch on my Grammarly and at the runtime, it gives me the changes. If there is any error, if there is some enhancement, even it gives me about punctuation, comma and everything. So it's an amazing tool. And as it says, it goes beyond grammar and spelling. Yes. So basically from grammar and spelling to style and tone, it also talks about the style, the tone that you're looking forward for, right? So Grammarly is a great tool for anyone who wants to write with confidence. Yes. So for every student, I highly recommend Grammarly as one tool that you should use for better writing. And I think writing is really a big power in today's days. So make sure to look at this Grammarly. Okay. The next tool that I have for you is called Quizlet. Yes. Now this is an amazing tool that can help you with flashcards. Now, anytime that you want to learn something new, use this tool called Quizlet for flashcards. Now, this is an amazing tool. Now, during my sessions and my mentoring sessions, I talk to a lot of students. And one thing that I always hear from them is like, I'm not able to concentrate, focus, remember uh, constantly with distractions. But I think these tools, specifically Quizlet, can help you remember better. And this is with digital flashcards, yes. Now, how does it work out? It is something like this. So you have these flashcards here and then you can learn it using these flashcards. So it says memorize faster for free. And you can have a lot of different flashcards. It has a study plan and everything out there, right? And it also says be ready for test day with learn and test. So it has a lot of features. It can help you build a study plan. It can give you flashcards. It has a quiz, it has a matching game. So it has different definition. You can match up with that together. So it's a whole soul thing that I would recommend every student to go for. It says get homework help with expert solutions also, which is Quizlet Plus. But then it's an amazing tool. So this is what I recommend flashcard if you want to learn something using Quizlet. Okay, let's look at the next one. The next one that I have is Duolingo. Well, I'm sure most of you must have heard about Duolingo, yes? Duolingo is an excellent way to learn any language. See, all of these languages, Spanish, French, German, they have so many languages available on Duolingo. In fact, I use Duolingo a lot personally. So I'm learning Spanish right now on Duolingo and it is really amazing. So I think the best part about it is it's free. 
and it's fun. Why fun? Do you see these characters here? <laughs> yeah. These are the characters with inbuilt in your app. So even when you use and you learn something, you'll see these characters and it becomes really fun way to learn. It says backed by science. So yeah, there's a lot of science combination of research back teaching methods and delightful content that has created. And actually it's pretty good, right? I've been using it. It's very, very good, right? And yes, stay motivated. The best part, it has a streak. It has fun challenges, the leaderboard and a lot of stuff. And very recently, Duolingo has also started something called personalized learning, and it has combining the best of AI and language science. Lessons are tailored to help you learn at just the right level and pace. So they have adopted AI. So the moment you log, log into the Duolingo app, then you can actually have a personalized learning. So all the different uh, topics, uh, concepts, the pace is actually personalized to your learning which is amazing. So Duolingo is there, of course, says learn anytime, anywhere. So for me, Duolingo is great for every student to learn a language. And I always believe in this thing. If you have the power of language with you, it's amazing. And I'm sure most students, they learn languages in their school, college, right? But most of them, they are not very proficient with it. So I've seen students with four, five, six years of learning a language, maybe French, maybe German, but they're not proficient with it. So if you use this Duolingo app while learning German and you learn German using Duolingo, I'm very sure you can learn to read, you can learn to speak, you can learn to write and everything. So it's a really powerful app that I will advise to all the students, Duolingo. All right, let's go to the next one. And this is Speechify. Okay, what exactly is this? This is basically AI text to speech reader. So anytime you have any text, it can convert it to speech. Yes, text to voice. Now, how can you use this as a student? Multiple ways. How I use Speechify is actually I use this for reading. Like if I have any article that I have to read and let's say I'm busy, I'm working out or I'm driving, I can just open Speechify and everything on my screen, it will be converted from text to voice. So sometimes I have a PDF document. Sometimes I'm reading a research paper and it's very difficult for me at times to just read it. So the best way is actually I convert it from Speechify from text to speech, voice. It works better for me. So you can absolutely use this way. So anytime you have a lecture that you wanna read and yeah, most of the people, students, they're not good with that reading, right? So what you can do, you can use Speechify you can have that lecture and then you can ask Speechify to just do it in the voice. So sometimes I feel like it's better than reading and listening is better than reading. Now, that is how you can use. Another way that I use this is also called speed reading. What I really like about Speechify that it has real people voice. Can you see Snoop Dogg, Well Patro, John? And it's an amazing, amazing AI tool. Trust me, try it for yourself. You will love it. And it is everywhere. You can have a Chrome extension, you have an iOS, you can download it on your desktop or your Mac. So I've downloaded it on my Mac and I can just, everything that I have on screen and I just switch on the button and can read it, right? So it's get more with text to speech, maximize your time. This is what I liked. Breeze through your content two to three X faster than it takes to read. So what Speechify does, like you can actually um, increase the speed, not just like one X, you can go to two X, three X, I generally do it at 2x to 2.5x depending upon the speech, but 2x is where you read. So it's also speed reading, which I think a lot of people are not talking about speed reading. So I always listen to these things 2x. So you can do speed reading with this thing. This is how you can also use this one. All right. And again, this, this is exactly what it is. Do more at once. So like take your reading wherever you go. So that's what I really love. The gym, the park, the couch. So even if you're walking out, you're going to gym, you have something to uh, listen to. Instead of listening to the songs or anything, you can actually use Speechify and you can listen to something else. Okay, so great work. This is how you can use this. So yeah, this is Speechify. Let's go to the next one. Next one that I have is Otter, otter.ai. Now, Otter talks about like helping students succeed with AI and Otter has different variation for education, for business, for different people. But how I use Otter predominantly now, order is absolutely opposite of Speechify. It will convert your voice to text. Yes. How can you use this? Like how I use it is sometimes whenever I have an idea and I don't have time to type about it. So what I do, I open the Otter app and I just narrate it. 
and it just converts everything to text. It is amazing. The quality and the accuracy is really good. So sometimes I'm sitting and I have an idea about a script that I want to do. So I'll just open up the author and I'll just, I'll just keep talking to author and author will convert it to text. This is an amazing thing. As a student, what you can do, this is great help for you. If you are in a lecture and you want to take the lecture notes. So instead of just writing, 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 you can open the author app, keep it close to your teacher or professor and whatever they are narrating will be converted to text. Yes. So it's way better than taking notes by writing. You can just simply use author and use that in your notes taking. So yeah, I've done that a lot. I've gone to a lot of seminars, attended a lot of workshops and I've done that. I use switch on the author and everything is whatever the teacher is speaking is being converted to text for me. That is how you can use author a lot, right? And it talks about a lot about save time with automated lecture notes. So it has a lot of features out there. So if you see, get context with automated slide capture, it can do that for you. Uh, make learning accessible and inclusive. So remember key moments with automated summary as well. So that's the best part. It also gives you the automated summary. So it's a great tool and I would recommend you to use this. All right, let's go to the next one. And this is called Google Scholar. Yes, a lot of, a lot of students, they know this, but this is, a, this is a feature by Google, okay? This is a service by Google, which is called Google Scholar. And it says here, stand on the shoulders of giants. Anytime you have any project about research or anything, it will give you everything. So let's say if I do AI, and I do a search here, it will give me everything out here. So can you see this, a book, where's the AI? So you can get references, real life references, research paper and everything using Google Scholar. So sometimes when you're writing a paper, you need information, you need to cite certain things, legitimate, you need the real thing, like a research from professor, from real resources. This is the tool that you can use called Google Scholar, right? It is being used by a lot of people, but yes, you can use this tool. So if you are a student and you're writing some of these research papers, or even if you're just writing a project paper, but you need the valid references, use Google Scholar. And a lot of people in education industry, they use this professors level and all, even in corporates, they use it when they have citation law, you can use this a lot. So all of these things can be really good for you. Google Scholar, look, at, look out for that. Okay, next one. And this is presentations.ai. How many times we have to make good presentations? Maybe in school, maybe college, maybe if you're a working professional, maybe at that time. Presentations are really important, especially during the education time, right? You have a project, let's say, and you have to make a presentation. So you can use this AI tool called presentation.ai. So see, chat GPT for presentations. And this is a crazy, crazy, crazy AI tool, crazy. Within seconds, you can create presentations. Within seconds. How does it work out? It's a very simple thing, okay? What do you do? You just enter a prompt. Based on your prompt, it will give you the whole presentation. That's why I say chat GPT to presentations, right? It says creative power that goes way beyond templates. Can you see this here? So it's an amazing tool to create presentations. It also has brand kit, which is brand consistent. So if you are looking for brand and you're looking into that for presentations, you can do this. So this is for basically corporate and other people, right? And it's simple, fast and fun. So bring your ideas to life instantly. So you just have to select certain pointers and anything that you want to talk about, it will give you the presentation here itself. Okay. So yes, this is, this is an amazing tool for students to create amazing presentation within seconds, presentations.ai. All right, I told you the last two ones are my favorite ones, here it is. Now this is also a presentation, this is called simplified.ai. Now simplified has a lot of different things, but here's something I like about it is our presentation maker. And it's an effortless way to design presentation, okay? Let me just refresh this and I'll show you the whole video here, okay? Now, see this. So what you do, pick up a presentation, just write down benefits of having a dog. Just write that and here you go. It has given you the whole presentation. You can customize it, you can modify it. Let's say you want to change this picture, you've changed the picture. You can change anything out there, right? You can add something new here, you can add a slide here, you can do anything that you want and you can export within seconds, right? So simply, how do you use it? It, it has an inbuilt chat GPT. So what do you do when you log in? You type in the command. So let's say create a presentation, so like a presentation, let's say create a presentation on climate change and boom, you just have to do this. Select few pointers and then it will make a brilliant presentation for you with the relevant picture. And it's really accurate. Yeah, I mean, I've used this and it's really accurate. So you can use this and it says how to use a presentation maker. Again, it's a 
on the design dashboard, click on generate with AI, select AI presentation, tell us about your presentation topic. That's it, topic, whatever topic you have. Click on generate and let the magic happen. Yes. Simplified AI presentation maker will automatically generate a stunning customized presentation in seconds for you. So guys, this is an amazing tool if you want to use this one, okay? And yeah, so it's an amazing tool. Use this one. All right. The next one I have is Adobe and this is Firefly. So Adobe very recently launched this Firefly, which is an AI and to help you with your all the graphic related things. So I think it's very, very good for students in fashion and design related programs, or they have interest in that, whether you're a school student, college student, if you have anything to do with pictures and if you have to do anything with design, this is a great, great tool, right? And it says, dream bigger with Adobe Firefly, right? Dream it, type it, see with Firefly. It's very, very amazing. It's really cool, okay? So can you see this? Recolor your wall. So see this? A very simple one. You just describe it, click on generate, and then you here you have it. <laughs> this is so cool. All right, I'm going to show you something here. See this one. Okay, so what is this? Lake with reflection of ice. You selected this point, and here you go. Right? Let's see this one more time. Here is the whole picture. You selected this place, and it's a lake with reflection of ice. Generate. It has given you the reflection. It has taken that out. It is so easy to do this. Okay, and See this one. So if you want to do this one, vector variation of the sketch. So you just circled it, vector variation, you got it. Here you go. And you can change it. See, yeah, there, there you go. So you can instantly create this thing. Here you go. This is another one. Okay. Describe what you want to create. Change scene to winter day. Wow. Let's see. There you go. <laughs> this is crazy. So you can do all of these things within minutes, not just minutes, seconds. And you can just have to command AI. So you can use this, anyone who wants to do it with design or anything related, it's a great, great tool, Adobe Firefly. And I have all the links for you so that you can use these links if you want to. So yes. All right, so that's it. These were the tools that I wanted to bring it to you. And my whole idea is to help you empower with AI. Now, a lot of people are talking about AI will take away your job. AI can do that, AI can do that. Actually, AI will not take away your job. A person who knows the AI will take away your job. So why don't you be that person? So my mission is to help you empower with this AI. And then you are the one who is controlling the future. So don't get bogged down with this. So I wanted to bring you all of these amazing, amazing tools that you can learn, that you can use to help you with your learning, with your education. I hope you liked this video. Do make sure to share with people, with your friends for sure, because everyone is looking out for this information. Also like this video, subscribe to my channel. And I will see you very, very soon with another amazing video. I'm Shurish. Bye-bye. I love you. See you.